Good afternoon once again, everyone. My name is Bob Marone. I'm here along with Matt Seiko. We are Westchester Talk Radio, and we are here for the Honickman Company's Invitational Golf Tournament, the proceeds to benefit volunteers of Greater New York, and we are streaming on westchestertalkradio.com. And my next guest, uh, and I remind you, again, we're benefiting the volunteers of America of Greater New York, and we are here at the Nolwood Country Club in Westchester, New York. My next guest is Christine Wade, and she is a manager at Deloitte. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bob. Now, you have been, and your company, of course, Deloitte, but you have been very much involved with the volunteers uh, of America. What is so important to you and your organization in terms of supporting Volunteers of America? Well, at Deloitte, um, volunteerism and giving back to our community is really in our DNA. People come to Deloitte because um, one of the reasons people come to Deloitte is because we are deeply involved in supporting our community, Um, not only just our community, but our clients, as well as our people and community. Okay. How long have you been involved? So I've actually been with Deloitte for 29 years. No. And I've did been, you start in the preschool program? I start. Yes, Ooh, I did. I thought so. <laughs> I started in preschool, and I've actually been in. I've had three careers at Deloitte, but this last career in corporate citizenship mm-hmm. um, has been by far my very favorite because I have the opportunity to um, put Deloitte's resources into commu- in the, into the community um, in New York and in New Jersey where I lead corporate citizenship. Oh, in New Jersey as well? Yes, Northern yes. New Jersey or the whole state? Um, the whole state. The whole state of New Jersey. So um, we work with Volunteers of America in New Jersey as well. Now, how do you split that work with, with your accounting, et cetera, et cetera? So um, we do it in a number of ways. So, you know, obviously people are hired to do a job in accounting, auditing, tax, advisory, et cetera. But our people have such a great desire to um, give back to the community. So they ask for opportunities. Hey, I want to work, you know, I want to focus on education. I want to focus on homelessness. I want to focus on this, that, and the other. So we provide our people with the opportunity to work with, um, you know, Volunteers of America and probably 40, 50 other nonprofits in New York and New Jersey. Now, do they do they outright volunteer? Do they make contributions? Do they do both? Um, they actually do both. So we, we have a workplace giving campaign that usually that starts in October. Um, but we also have year round volunteerism, and we all we ha- actually have a day of in- a day of service, which is a, a, you know the day where everyone at Deloitte across the country takes the day off and goes into our communities and um, and works with the communities of Volunteers of America. So for example, our last impact day is what we call it. Um, we worked in New York City on 132 um, nonprofits mm-hmm. in New York City all on the same day. That's extraordinary. And you know, as someone who's familiar with what Deloitte does from my own career, um, it's not where you're selling retail products in the community. Correct. You know, your, corp- your clients are large corporate entities usually. So this is almost 100%. We're doing this to be part of the community, even though you won't directly benefit in any way. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, it's it's a part of our DNA. It's like, you know, it's, it's, as you become a part of Deloitte, it's immediately known that, you know, and we have these volunteer opportunities where you can jump in and get involved and support the community. Not only do we, you know, do the traditional stuff like the painting and the cleaning of gardening and, you know, that, those kinds of things, but we use our skills, the, the same skills that we share with our clients to support organizations like Volunteers of America. For example, we help them to with their strategic plan and their CEO transition. We help them with that. We use the same skills that we serve our clients with to help nonprofit or organizations, and we do it for free. Do you have, of all the things that Volunteers of America does, do you have any specific thing that you particularly like to do? I particularly like the Operation Backpack. Uh-huh. I like that only because... 
I can, I, I've, I've been fortunate to have backpacks every time I went to school, but I can't imagine students not having um, a level playing field, mm -hmm. as they call it, and, you know, having all the other things that the more fortunate students have. So that's sort of my favorite um, event that they they host. However, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things we do with veterans and, um, you know, Secret Santa, Halloween, we do, you know, we do it all. At what we do as much as we can. Wow. Um, every time I interview someone like yourself, and that's what we've been doing today, I always think of the 80 20 rule. How do you find the extra time to do this? I mean, yeah. Well, for, for me, it's my, my full time job. No, no, I understand. So for but, the but still, no, got, but agree. You, you still have to put in the extra effort to get involved with things like this. Mm hmm. And, um, what motivated you to take on this kind of work? I think it was just being, you know, growing up and understanding that it's important to give back. You know, there are people that are less fortunate than I am and others are. And I think there's just this unique, um, you know, desire to help others. And so, you know, given all that's happening in the world, it's just... Um, the, you know, I think it's just the right thing to do. And, I th and it's not just me. It's probably, you know, 30, 40 percent of the people at Deloitte. Yeah, they they want to they wanna give back. Guys. They want to give back. Good for you guys. We're in our closing moments with Christine Wade. She's a manager at Deloitte and very involved with Volunteers of New York. Before we let you go, I'm going to give you 30 seconds or so. How would you encourage people, what would you say to them to maybe they would volunteer mm -hmm. or donate to Volunteers of New York? What would you like people to know? Well, I, I think that um, I've seen firsthand uh, the, you know, the look on a child's face when they get that backpack or when, you know, the veteran, you know, you spend some time with a veteran and, um, you know, just encourage them and play board games with them. I've done that. And I think that if you're looking to bring a ray of sunshine to a child's face or to a veteran's or someone in domestic violence um, or a homeless child, I think that Volunteers of America is a good steward of money, of your contribution, and I would encourage you just to go to their website and make a donation. Well, thank you very much. Christine Wade, uh, you're an example of the kind of people we need more of on this planet. Thank you so very, very much for being on Westchester Talk Radio and have some fun today. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. And folks, we'll be back after this.